This is Football Navigator. Welcome and we are looking at the top richest people and their families. The richest people in South Africa are Johan Rupert, Nikki Oppenheimer, Patrice Mutepe, Kus Becker and Michael LaRue. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up as well as share the content across other football channels. They are all dollar billionaires, which means South Africa has over 25% of the continent's 19 billionaires. Another interesting observation is that all these billionaires are old. Petrus Mutipa is the youngest at 60 years, while all the others are over 70 years. Two of them, Johan Rupert and Nikki Opania, inherited much of their wealth while others created most of it. Here's a breakdown of each billionaire and how they made their fortune. First up, we have Johan Rupert and family net worth of 161 billion rand. When Anton Rupert founded the cigarette company for Brand in 1940s, he wouldn't have foreseen the sprawling business empire that has made his family the wealthiest in the country. For Brand became Rembrandt and Rembrandt was then split into former Rago and Richmond, a decision that Anston's son Johan was instrumental in pushing through. Johan Rupert is one of South Africa's most successful and best-known businessmen in his own right, with investments in many top South African and international companies. Companies. Richmond is the business of luxury goods. The company owns luxury brands including Cartier and Mont Blanc, which has been incredibly successful. Rimgro is a holding company for a vast swath of businesses including Discovery, Outsurance, Mediclinic, Distal, RCL Foods and Total Energies. His companies have created many jobs in the country and his family commits large sums of money to charity. On we have Nikki Oppenheimer and family net worth of 157 billion rand. Nikki Oppenheimer inherited an incredible fortune in the form of De Beers Group, the world's leading diamond mining company. Nikki's father Harry was the chairman of De Beers and mining giant Anglo American. He was in charge of the world's largest coal, diamonds, gold, and platinum suppliers. Nikki Oppenheimer decided to sell 40% of De Beers to Anglo in 2012, which raised 5.2 billion in cash. He started Fairblade Aviation in 2014, which operates Chatsiad flights. The Oppenheimer family contributed to conservation efforts in South Africa and owned 720 square miles of land across South Africa, Botswana, Zimbabwe and Mozambique. Let us look at Petrus Matipe with a net worth of 59 billion rand. Matipe initially made his fortune through mining interest. He started foundation mining in 1994, his first significant business venture. His rise in the mining sector was meteoric from there. Matipe took African Nembo Minerals public in 2002, which has interests in a wide range of mines, including platinum, coal, iron, copper, and gold. He also started African Rainbow Capital, which has a stake in many prominent businesses in the country, including Rain, Aframid, and Tyre. Bank. He owns around 18% of Sunlam, the largest insurance provider in the country, through an investment trust which is the empowerment partner of the insurer. Next, we have Gus Becker, then with a net worth of 47 billion rand. As the former CEO of Naspers, Becker led the media group to one of the greatest venture investments ever when the company acquired a third of the Chinese technology company Tencent. Tencent is currently the 12th biggest company in the world, and Naspers has thrived as a result. Becker retired as CEO in 2014 and returned as chairman of the company in 2015, where he remains to this day. On we have Michael LaRue with a net worth of 21 billion rand. LaRue founded Capitec in 2001, which has grown materially since then. He was chairman of Capitec for almost 10 years and still owns approximately 11% of the bank. LaRue trained as a lawyer but never practiced law. He had previous banking experience with Boland Bank before starting Capitec with Rian Stassen, who was the first CEO of the bank.